the International Men's Network partnered with the Department of Gender Relations for the Boys to Men Conference to mark the observance of International Men's Day celebrated November 19th annually. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney gave an inspiring address at the Boys to Men Conference, which saw young men from around the island showing their talents and sending positive messages to all St. Lucia's men. President of the International Men's Network, Barry Innocent, expressed his joy at seeing the conference become a reality, stating that it would not have been possible without the support of the Department of Gender Relations. I'm so excited about this event. I think that um, not only myself, so, but also Ms. Janie Joseph, the Director of Gender Relations, who have been working very hard with me, and, and together we have jointly planned this event. Let me also say that when you look at what's happening in St. Lucia, as the chairperson so well put, most of the school dropouts are boys, much more than girls, and most of the gang-related violence activities happening in the crime land is by young men. So when Ms. Jenny Joseph and, ourself, and myself had discussions, I, I mentioned to her, well, this is one of the things that the International Ms. Network wanted to do, and she was very excited to come on board, and she said, okay, let's do it. The event saw several young men take the stage to perform original gospel-infused music of varying genres. AJ, Drenotes, and Peter Augustine, also known as Jared, were part of the performing ensemble. Distinct remarks were made by young Dr. Joshua Les Forrest, who sought to inspire everyone watching by reflecting on his journey, as well as touching on the importance of values like respect and gratitude. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert, stated that she was honored to support the conference. What it means to be a man is constantly changing from one place to another, from one time to another, even from one context to another. Now, more than ever, in the COVID environment, the change in perception of what it means to be a man is clear. We all know that being a man has traditionally been associated with power and strength. This sounds really positive and progressive, but it is also laced with a set of expectations that set men up for heavy criticism and a disproportionate burden of responsibility. The minister also said that this burden on men is unfair to them and affects everyone. For his part, Prime Minister Shastney expressed warm thanks to the organizers and noted great need for more groups like the International Men's Network to support, inspire and mentor the boys and men of our nation. Whenever we have a young man, in particular, who has not been given that lift up, that boost, that hug, that I love you, and given the opportunities that when they feel the world is against them, and we all at some point have felt that way, that they also have access to someone who can be a mentor. And this is what your association has been doing, and I really commend you for what you're doing. So again today, International Men's Day is for us to celebrate the successful men we have because we should not leave them by at the expense of those who may not be achieving to their fullest level. But to appeal to all of us as St. Lucians that when we see someone who is struggling, what does it take? Some time to reach back? And not to be scared of the competition, but to welcome that competition and knowing that that person may actually be the person that's going to push us to the greatness that this country truly deserves. At the event, the Prime Minister took the opportunity to send best wishes to all men on International Men's Day. The objectives of celebrating International Men's Day include focusing on men's and boys' health, improving gender relations, promoting gender equality and highlighting male role models. The International Men's Network 
is a faith-based collective of men pursuing initiatives that support the development of men and their role in the family, community, society, and on the job. IMN was launched on October 9, 2009 through the Men's Ministry of the Bethel Tabernacle Empowerment Center. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Danielle Dubois. Boys to men, gospel insanity.